Happy Sunday everyone. This is Betsy from Time Enough. I wanted to share a project that I've worked on for oh, the last few weeks. I've been kind of obsessed with making these little books and I was inspired by a tutorial by um, Shelley Geigel who is on YouTube and I will put a link to her channel below. She makes wonderful tutorials and has great ideas. And so she's the one that really motivated me to make all of these different books. And most of them will be gifts that um, I will give at Christmas time. So if you're interested, um, check out her link for the tutorial. So the first one that I made, I did try to change mine a bit. I used different papers than she did and I also um, changed a few things here and there to make them my own. So this one is just a pretty little ice skating one and I believe these are Stamperia papers. Um, I used a lot of glitter like she did that too and I used the glitter called Diamond Dust which is my favorite. So inside, this was her basic setup. Um, on this side is a pretty pad of paper that you can get. I think I got six of these pads off of Amazon, very reasonably priced. And um, so she will show you how to connect your pad. This pulls out of here, just comes out like this and underneath I have a little pocket in which that fits right in. She teaches you how to add a pen or mechanical pencil. They do have to have a clip so that you can clip them. Now I found in making these that the ribbon works but if you put your pen or pencil in, in and out a lot it can eventually come off and tear and tear your your um, paper or card stock. So I came up with another idea and I'll share that in a little bit. Over here is another pocket and I just love this paper. Um, Stamperia is one of my favorite companies for papers. So this has just some little tags inside that you can use for gifts. My orange really clashes with this pink today. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> I'm wearing this big old orange sweatshirt today. I said to my husband, this, you can wear this for, I can wear this for October. I don't know if I could wear it, get away with it any other time, but anyway. Um, this is just a little card I made with the same paper pack and a pretty little tag and then I put in two little cards and on the back it says it's a postcard so they could actually be mailed or you could just write little messages on them but all those papers are so pretty and this was just a little brad that I put on there just to make it a little extra special. And these pens, I believe I got those off Amazon also. They they have uh, glitter inside of them. It's kind of a rose gold color, so they matched really well with this um, pink paper. And um, I think I got three in a pack for those. So that was the first one I made. And I'm trying to think, let me put this back in here so I don't forget. So this just fits. And Shelly gives you all the exact measurements that you need so that you can make these work. Okay, so that's that one. Um, I think I'll show you this one next maybe. 
Um, this one I did a little differently. Okay, so on this one I did the same thing with the paper pack. And again, I'm using, um, I think this is blue fern paper. Um, and it's called Mistletoe and Holly. My favorite Christmas paper ever. Getting harder to find, so if you like this paper, get it when you while you can if you can still find it. Mistletoe and Holly. So on this one, I devised a different system for my pen. I um, used some craft tech paper, which is a little stronger than your typical cardstock, and I fortunately had some of this moss green color which blended so well with my colors from the paper pack. And what I did was I used my crocodile and I made a, first I made my hole punch and then I put in a brad, not a brad, what do you call those? Oh gosh, I can't think of it, gosset? I can't remember, but you know, it's those round circle things. And I had some brass, so I used brass. And then I pulled my matching green ribbon through and tied a knot behind it and then the tail I just glued down underneath of this and you can't even tell that. So that works really well. It doesn't tear your paper. And in here I decided to make a little envelope. Um, as you can see there's a little girl with a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and I bred Cavalier, Cavaliers for quite a while, just a little, well, probably close to 25 years. <laughs> That's not such a little while, but it seemed like it went quickly. And um, I just love this image, it's such a pretty Victorian image. And so I decided to make this for a Cavalier friend of mine. And so inside of here, just to untie this and in here is a little calendar I made for 2024 and each one uh, I designed on my computer and each month is a different image of a lady or with her cavalier or just a cavalier by itself and these are all old images um, and I, for those of you who don't know there are four colors of cavalier cavaliers there's tricolor which is the black brown and white there's ruby which is all red shouldn't have any white but sometimes they do um, that's just my own design there's blenheim that's a very old picture from um famous painter. I can't think of his name. Charles. Charles. I can't think of his name. <laughs> so there's the Blenheim and Tricolor. Here they are again. And there's also a black tan color. Let's see where my black tan is. That's the black tan color. So that's a nice little calendar which was fun to make and I just put this through here and through the one at the bottom and just tie a pretty little bell. So I thought that was a nice idea to put inside of this pocket especially since the paper had a had the month of December on it. There's the back cover. So I have another one of these since I have more than one Cavalier friend. <laughs> and um, this one has a few different papers in it. Uh, but again, I believe this is all from that same packet mistletoe and holly and in this pocket I made a pretty um, tag could be put on a gift 
Christmas is the time for remembering the friends we cherish and the best of wishes are the old, tried, and true ones. And this calendar, this little pocket calendar, I found on Amazon. And it goes all the way to 2025. And I really love this one. I think I'm going to get one for myself. But it has um, lots of things like password log, personal info, birthdays, important dates. And then I love how you can write um, events and things right inside the calendars for each month. So I thought that was a nice little addition. Now on this one, I did my little ribbon the way Shelly did hers. But after it tore one time, I thought, no, nope, I'm not going to do that anymore. So that was an early, this one was, I made this one before I made the other one. Okay, and this one, um, this is Stamperia paper. I don't know the name of it, but it is by Stamperia, I believe. I think. It could be Blue Fern. Blue Fern's my other favorite company. Blue Fern and Stamperia. Not sure. I'm <laughs> not positive on that. But pretty paper. And these little stickers that I put on are from Tim Holtz. Uh, Christmas sticker packet that he put out this year. I just love that image. You see that? And here again I made that um, this time I used this little brad instead of ribbon so I just put that through a hole and then this clips on to the ring. Tim Holtz makes those but you can also get those on Amazon. And this was another pocket calendar that I found um, on Amazon. I love Gooseberry Patch. It's really cute. Special occasions, telephone numbers, notes. And that fit in there perfectly. So there's that one, and then this one, another pink one. Now this I know for sure is Stamperia. This one I think I might put in my Etsy shop. And I added some pretty embroidered trim at the top. And here's a little place, little place to put who it's for or who it's from. And over here, I made my pocket a little different because I love this um, design, and I didn't want to cut through it with the little church and the little houses. And then back here, I made some more pretty tags with lots of glitter. And this is, these are some just pretty cards. You could put a picture on those. So lots of things you can put in these pockets. Um, you could even put a pair of earrings, put a p earrings on a card and stick them in there. Um, lots of different ideas. There's that one. And then this last one. This one I made with Tim Holtz's Christmas paper. I love this paper. And I just used glitter around it. And this also is Tim Holtz paper. And so is this. So this is a little more of a rustic one. And this time I used a flap over my notebook pad. That's also Tim Holtz. 
And this is Tim Holtz, Deck the Halls with Bells of Holly. And I know that was just put out this year, but I can't remember what it came in. Something, something related to Christmas, obviously. Um, and here I made another one of these. And inside of here, I have a little tag that I stamped. And then I have some little cards, a recipe card, bell snickle, and just some cute little tags. So, I think I showed them all to you now. And I just had so much fun making them and um, thought I would share them with you and perhaps um, inspire you to try them out yourself. So thanks everyone for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful October, my favorite month. Take care and talk to you later. Bye bye.